Hey everyone, it's Melissa. It is Thursday and I am going to do the second part of the tag that I was tagged by the lovely, the beautiful, the wonderful Natalie 075. And uh, so yesterday I did the All About Eyes and today I'm doing the lipstick tag. So I'm not going to chit chat, I'm going to try to keep it down under an hour so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the first question was, um, how many lipsticks do you own? I counted last night, and I counted 46, but a disclaimer about that. Some of them were the small, um, like that you got from Lancome, the gift with purchase that I never even throw away. I think they're years old. Some of them were uh, lipsticks that before I went gluten-free. Uh, I certainly don't wear all those, and I need to get rid of um, probably about 90% of them that I don't use. Uh, what was the first lipstick you owned? It was that Tangie, I think it's T-A-N-G-E-E, -E, and I think Vermont Country Store still sells, Country Store still sells it, that's hard to say. Um, it's, it was an orange lipstick that you put on, <clears throat> and it, <coughs> I always do that, I always start going to hacking. Um, it wasn't a mood re lipstick, it would change to your mood or whatever. It would become the color that your skin needed. So it went on orange and sometimes it would turn pink, sometimes it would stay kind of orange. Um, so that was my first lipstick. I, I'm sure I thought it looked really cute in it and I think it was probably 8th or ninth grade. Okay, and the next one, hold on, I got off of it. What is your most worn lipstick? Uh, I, to me, for my skin, I have found the perfect lipstick combination that I love, and I will go ahead and tell you about it. The lipstick is by Three Custom Colors. I've mentioned it several times before. It is the replica of Rose Amethyst. It's a color, it's a company that uh, when something get dis gets discontinued, they take it and they make it, they remake it. Uh, to pretty much exactly match it. Uh, so I use it, but by itself it does not look right. It looks too pink or light or bright or whatever. For me, and I would suggest if you're going to use it, you try that. Uh, the only way it looks good is with the MAC Spice Lip Pencil. You outline your lips and you fill your lips in. You have to fill your lips in because that spice warms it up and gives it just the right color where it is an absolutely perfect lip combo on me. I don't know that I would, it's up there with that moonstone eyeshadow on me. I absolutely love it and I will not be without this lipstick. Um, unfortunately, I have lost my uh, MAC Spice lip pencil so I've got one ordered. I don't know if it, one of the kids got it or if the dog got it or if it rolled under the seat or what but I absolutely cannot find it so I ordered one it will be here Monday so I've been trying to fudge with other lip liners but no, no other lip liner looks as good underneath this as, as the spice and like I said you've got to fill it in all over for it to look right so I keep losing my place um, so that is that one let's see most one lip what is your favorite brand of lipstick? I like the three custom color uh, lipsticks. They match exactly what I want. Uh, I like the formula. Uh, I like what it does, the way it feels um, really, really well. My second one that I like the best uh, would be the Maybelline 14 hour lipstick because it lasts so well and they're beautiful shades too. Uh, what is your favorite finish? Uh, I guess like a satin. I don't like real shiny. Uh, and I don't, and I don't like kind of flat, but, um, or stain type things. But I really like, um, I, I really like like a, maybe a soft gloss, maybe a satin finish. I feel like I'm doing paint colors. And, you know, what kind of finish do you want when, when I mix up your paint? Uh, so, okay. What is the last lip, lip product you bought? Well, I ordered my uh, Spice, MAC Spice lip pencil uh, two days ago. So that was the last one that I ordered, or that I bought. How many lip products are in your handbag? Normally two, my MAC Spice and my three custom colors. Ooh, I didn't mean to 
get all over the place. My three custom color lipsticks, um, those are the ones that I use all the time, and so I keep them in my makeup bag. Uh, I don't usually use lip balms or anything like that. My lips just don't ever get real chapped. What lip product do you use to rock a red lip? Well, I'm glad you asked. I never, ever, ever use red lipstick. Um, I usually, I feel like with a strong lip, you have to do a weak, not a weaker eye, but not as much makeup on your eye. And I'm all about using a lot of eye makeup in a real pale lip. I, I like that look better on myself. But since I thought, well, this is about lipstick, you know, I'll wear a real strong lipstick. So I, I did put this red on. Uh, I'm not as fond of it as I am, you know, my pale lips or in the stronger eye, but, but I did. And it's a Ravishing Rouge by um, Maybelline 14 Hour Lipstick. And, uh, you know, I think if you're going to do a red, do a red. You know, just really go for it and do a red. So I did. So that would be the red, but I usually do not ever, ever wear red. Uh, how do you store your lipsticks? Um, all those lipsticks I, I need to go through. What I tend to do is in my, I have that closet that's, um, you know, pretty big upstairs. So on one side I have um, the stackable things, the plastic stackable things that I got at Walmart. And then some of them have little drawers. So I store them in that. Uh, hey, what lip products are you current, lip product are you currently lusting after? Um, gosh, I don't know that I would like anything better than three custom. Uh, I'm real, I do kind of, I would like to, uh, is it Tom Ford that has the, the Spanish pink or I think it's Spanish pink. Um, I keep hearing so much about it and I'm kind of curious about it. And so, you know, sometime I would like to try that to, to see what I would think about that. And that is it. I think I got in under, under 10 minutes. Surely I did. It didn't seem like it was that long. But uh, like I said, I tag everyone to do this that hasn't done it already. It's a fun tag to do, that one in the makeup, uh, the eye thing, and put them together. Uh, if you haven't, or if you've done one of them, do the other one. Uh, I think it's fun for people to see here at Christmas time, especially when maybe you might want to buy some lipsticks or you're going to a party or, or something like that to kind of see what other people use. I know I certainly enjoy uh, seeing all that. So uh, I am going to uh, go make some caramels, salted caramels. I make those every year. I'm going to work on my Christmas tree. We finally got the lights on and so I'm going to hang some decorations up. Uh, I think, you know, after I get my decorations up, then I'll kind of take you all around. And I've got all my decorations up except for decorating my tree. Uh, and it's a great big tree. And the thing I like about our tree here, I'll go talking again. We found out from the guy that died when he was 90-something uh, last Christmas. He remembered coming over here when he was a child to our house. And he told us where they put the Christmas tree every year. So we put our Christmas tree in the same place. So. Uh, okay, so I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.